Welcome to this next Google SketchUp screencast, going to show you how to add components. So up until now we've been building shapes manually, manually making things 3D. Google has a little 3D warehouse where people have created objects already that you can bring into your design. To turn that on you go up under window and you choose components and it'll open a little window that you can position wherever you need to. And this little window has a search box on it. So let's say I want to find a student desk. And I'm going to put student in there to narrow it down a little bit. It's going to search and here are some different things that come up under student desk. And there's a few pages here. If you click through the arrows at the bottom, there's more choices. Um, so let's say I want this one right here. So I'm going to click on this one and it's going to bring it into my design. So I'm in top down mode right now. It's good to do this in top down mode and then look at things in 3D later. So I'm going to position the desk. Notice the desk is facing this way. This is the front of my room up here. So I will probably, I'm going to move this out of the way for right now. I will want to rotate this. So I'm going to choose my rotate tool. I'm going to click somewhere in the center, click somewhere on the, the side, and then move this around to rotate it to face that way. Now when you bring a component in, if you bring something in that is really large, one of the tools we haven't looked at yet is called the scale tool. So let's say I bring in this desk here and let's say I'm looking at it and I'm like you know this is just way too big compared to the person Oh, that's actually a pretty good size when you click when you use your selection tool and you click on an object you brought in it, it selects it in a cube looking way what this means is you can now scale this this is our scale tool over here on the side uh, what that does is when you click on it it changes the look so each little corner or each side has a little prism so now I can grab this and drag and make it bigger just like clip art that you might be using in Word so I can scale this larger I can scale this smaller so you want to make it the size that looks about right and then position it correctly where it should go in the classroom so I would click on the move tool and I would grab this and if this was going to go back here in the back of the room I would position that as such so that's a little bit about objects you can place little flags on them so if you want to choose to name this the, the desk you can do that and then copy and paste that over and over like we did in the last video if you didn't see that you can go back and watch that and actually make your room look somewhat 3D so that is how you get components into your classroom